Hey everybody, so welcome back and here's what we're going to do. We're going to basically start setting up our do fixture right now and test it out. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so where we left off, we had the class 1 in there and we, re we actually added the using fit in there and basically calling the fit library. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is a um, couple things. I'm going to delete this number one. Um, what you can do is move. Uh, okay, first thing first, create a folder called the do fixture folder. All right. So that's the first thing. Create a folder called do fixture. In this folder, um, what we could do is we can either move this class into the do fixture or rename it. Um, let's just delete it. And in here, we're going to create a class called do, fi do test fixture. That's yes. <clears throat> when you do create the class, you will get, um, it's just, it will be something like this, right? So this is a do test fixture. And in here again, you can see I have another class in here called add count fixture. So this is my test class that I'm actually trying to um, create so that you could basically test out your first fixture on fitness to ensure that it's working. All right. So what I'm going to do under do fixture, I create two classes, one called do test fixture, one called add count fixture. Okay. The do test fixture class is the class that will contain all the um, the the um, entry point of the reference all other classes. So um, when the fitness server, um, when you basically declare your function on fitness, what to call, what function to call, and what um, uh, methods are included there and things like that into that class you are going to define or make a reference to that um, class in here so it's going to be one place where all the class where the entry point for all classes that you need to run your um, your fixture code or your test basically will be in this class so you'll find it here and then you can navigate to the actual class and go from there so with that said i'm gonna as you created an add count fixture class um in here right now i have some code written to save time and um you can copy this code or start writing out this code but um the first thing i want to do is this i want to declare um, a private variable. So private int underscore count one underscore count two underscore count three. Notice that <clears throat> for the private method, we are um, actually adding an underscore and then the name as our um, basically this is our pattern. Um, of naming conventions that we're trying that we are going to be implement here for this private method. So private int count one two three, and <clears throat> we have a getter and setter for the the public count one count two count three, and then we have a total count um, method public method here um, that returns the sum of the count and cast it to a string and it returns that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out our, fit, our um, fitness setup and create our first fitness page and our first test. So let's do that now. Okay, if you haven't already gotten your fitness running and I have um, have mine in this right now it's currently not on so i'm going to navigate to QA test fitness and then click on utils 
can run fitness patch. If it's running, you will see that it actually says that your the port is open on 8888. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go over to um, localhost 8888. And once we're here, what we need to do now is a couple of things. First, we need to set up a place where we are going to store our test. And um, in a couple lectures coming up, I will provide some videos on how to basically organize your test and you know add them on your wiki pages basically organize them in suites the uh, test suites and how best practices on them but for now um, first thing first is I have here set up verification and UI verification test um, set up on the front page here let me show you first how to do, how to basically set up another page in here. What I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to go ahead and click on edit. And what you can do is copy one that's already here. All right, and let's call this page, um, so UI verification. Let's call it um, first. Um, let's call it. Let's. Okay, I created a QA scratch area, and basically, so what I did is call it QA scratch area. Put this in a QA scratch area in camel case, and let's just call this QA scratch area as well. So this could be an area where different team members can can basically go ahead and add their name and add suites on there as they're building their fixtures. All right, so it's one of the things that are helpful um, for team members who are developing uh, fixtures to basically go ahead and have a place where they could uh, develop and test their fixture code. And then it can also be a place where they can actually move this over into a help area where they, where they can create a help section where all the fixtures are there and how to use them like basically the syntax so for now i just want to show you how we create another page so when you save that you're going to see a little question mark there because we actually it's not a page created yet just click on the question mark you can put a help text there i'm not putting anything right now if i go back to the fitness page the main fitness page you notice it's hyperlinked now and you can click on it all right so that's the first thing I wanted to show you so so I have a section called setup fixture verification suites and in here I have a suite and in here I have verify count so verify count is basically if you look back at what we have um, one minute so on the do fixture, initially I had a it's inside of this class, the do test fixture class, I have a public add count fixture. So this is the add count fixture. This is the class name. And then the class name, after that class name, what we'll do is we need to add the actual name in fitness what the name will be in fitness that, we, that we're calling the referencing this class so what we'll do is the add count is the is the uh, is the name that is given to reference the add count fixture class and then return that fixture class so in a do fixture this is what you need to do um and then we can always pass in uh, overload the method and then we'll have to have the constructor in that class that's referencing accept that overload method and things like that we could talk about that at the later uh, lecture but this is what I want to introduce here so once I do this I, I'll save this 
And if you go back into the add code fixture, um, you have various methods here. So at the moment, um, I am not providing, I just put an add count, so that's what I'm calling. So this is the method, this is the actual um, main method, and then the total count in here. So add count is a reference to the class that I'm calling it, and then in here is the actual uh, method to that's included in this, in this um, class that basically does. So if you look in here, again, do fixture add count. I'm calling this class. In this class, total count. So if I don't provide any count one, count two, count three, the return value will be zero, right? So that's the expectation. But I'm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's build this project again. And once we build that project, we can go back into fitness and let's test it out. And notice that this ran, but we don't have any verification. It comes it back, the value came back at zero. So if we're expecting zero in this particular one, so what we can do edit add zero as the expectation. Let's make sure it's correct. We'll test again. You notice it's green. It says test pass. If we go ahead and add, say, 0, 1, we're expecting red and saying that it's failed because, say, you're expecting this, but the actual value that came back was 0. So as you can see, that's how powerful fitness is. Um, and that's just your first introduction on creating your first fixture and hooking up everything to the wiki page. I will proceed with the next lecture and getting into setting up our framework a little more in depth um, and start introducing the, the basic structures such as what well, in, in .NET programming such as um, what is a class and variables and various different things. So you need to have a little background um, in writing C sharp code in order for you to write fit, uh, fitness fixtures for the .NET framework. All right. So thank you guys for join for joining me on this um, joining me <laughs> uh, this journey, um, and uh, hope you are enjoying the class so far. Thanks again.